had sporadic form who may have a day of consistency and I wouldn't rule out this man here because he's had some very good performances so far and it's not bad in the first leg of the day this Chizzy is on the nine data in the very first leg in the first game on the streaming board 1-4-1 one, one for Dave Chizzy Chisno oh that would have been special wouldn't it would have been the antithesis 59. of what Sulevich did in winning in the last leg of an 11-leg contest. Edgar couldn't, could he? Oh, no. Dave. We're never going to hear the end of that one. Oh. Chisnell's only thrown nine darts to leave 82. And the man with the toothpaste on his shirt has just pinged the big fish. Until this last leg, when it has gone horribly wrong, and you can see... He 60. is a stressed, stressed man. Do you think Chizzy's going to finish with a 170? He might do. There might be a fist bump at the end of that. Oof. Well, it just goes to show what Chisnell is capable of because he was able to leave the 170 from the 271. Talked about it a couple of times this week. This game isn't over yet. 99. But it might be now because Edgar was failing to get to the finish there. And Chisnell has... Six starts from 72. He will go treble 12 for the double 18 to finish the job off. He has not led the entire match. Game shot. And he match. sneaks it off. at the death. De One of the legends of the game, but it's maybe testament to where he saw himself and maybe he didn't like 45. to be referred to as an amateur. Well, a bit of humility from RVB. Be interested to see what he does in the next 12 months as well, but he's had a huge jump on a lot of other people. Well, one world champion enjoying life here in Bolton. One might be heading out. Gary Anderson, 5-3 behind against the world youth champion, Bradley Brooks. And Bradley needs a win. He's had a bad week. Hasn't played poorly, just hasn't had a win. Scott Waits might be about to complete a win here. Double 16 would do it. And that's nice. the way Scott to do it. And Baggish offers his hand. He's six, 106. They've not quite gone how he wanted, but he's been allowed to come back and tidy him up if they haven't. 12 scored. Won't like that though, will he? A little untidy. And Eddie after more air time. Well, he might have to go for 15 here. The ball to stay in it. I didn't 29. trouble it really. Is that an eight? Yeah, it was, yeah. And surely now Game Gurney will get the that job done. And he does on double two. Eddie Lovely has had a very, very decent okay. start to his career as a PDC pro. It's the first time that he's fallen in the first round in four days. And it took a two-time major champion to inflict that defeat on him. Gurney goes through with a 6-1 win. And we'll face the winner of our final first round match here on stream one. It is Martin Lukeman against the beard to be feared, the wizard Simon Whitlock. It is one of them. 54. He's not found. 92. But he will leave himself on double 16. Lukeman, it's another one of those one treble finishes. He's had a look at a fair few of them. And this one is pinned. Massive shot from Smash. Going to happen because Martin Lukeman is going to get match darts, and his finishing has been better than the Wizards. 160 left for the match. There is some pressure on this. Martin Lukeman, big fat 20. There. Tops. Game shot. Oh, very, very impressive. A 14 data to seal it in a last leg decider. This will be some way to save it. This game has been getting away from Ratajski and he has been the lucky one in this match. That Darius has not got rid of it before now. Well, this 25 coming in for Darius is the easiest chance he's had. 125. So Ratajski is going to be biting his nails on this one. He's missed tops for the match. He's missed the ball for the match. Now he's got two darts in hand and double eight. Nine and he score. cannot get over the line just now, Darius Labanowskis. 
This is for a hold of throw. Double 12. Got to go top portion. Open bed at double six. Last 18. chance you feel has gone. You can't see Labanowskis missing three more. A scrappy end to what started as a fabulously blistering encounter. For his first win over Ratajski in the PDC. And Labanowskis gets the job done. It was a stressful end to the match for the little Lithuanian, but Lucky D adds another big scalp to his collection. Was dispatched by John Brown. Three eighteens, right there. Four double sixteen. Seventy. And whenever Vincent says "oi," you know he's not happy. It's a big ask, but not impossible. Very possible. Game oh, and you saw Vincent van der Voort just holding his breath in the background and somewhat respectfully not blowing on his hand. Ninety-three. Nice leave of 133. It's a very difficult finish in that range. You'd much rather have 121, especially when you hit the 60. Sensibly goes for the 11 for ball. Game. Oh, yeah. Look at that to add to the 140 out. We are seeing evidence from John Brown as to how good he really is. And we get the wink at the end as well. Can he do it? Not on this occasion, but he has six darts from here. 60. Van der Voort will be thinking 105 to leave 96 and hope. All he can do is leave 141. He's come up short in four of his five visits on this leg. 92 now becomes double 16 for John Brown. That is a bad dart. It's right in the way, but he's created the angle by stepping to the left. He throws it and it's in. John Brown has defeated two Dutchmen today. Jelle Klaassen first, and now the more experienced Van der Voort, and he will now go up against Darius Labanowskis. Rethink it, says Paul Nicholson. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that might be the exception. Well, I like, I like Gezi Price. I don't want to upset him. This one hasn't been exceptional, but that was an exceptional visit from Rasto. It might be too late. Can hardly be described as too little. No score. And maybe it's not too late. Maybe it keeps him in the match. This is a really tough out, though. However, oh, if he does have a tendency, it's to miss to the left. And that's only just to the left. And now Jake Jones has to collect his thoughts and 77. undo what he did in the last visit. Game shot. And, the and he gets Jake it Jones. done in the end. And I think it's fair to say that he deserved it on the balance of play in that one. Might have a slightly lower average in his opponent in the mid-80s. Mentioned Michael Smith, Adrian Lewis, and Luke Woodhouse. Wright doesn't look too worried. He's got plenty to mull 85. going into next week. A title that he has lifted before. We get the feeling his challenge here in Players' Championship 4 is done. Game shot and the match, Damon Hetter. Certainly is done. Hetter was too hot to handle for Peter Snake by right who's been tinkering with his tungsten to see where Michael Smith was in the leg before he threw the dart double 11 120. oh that was such a huge chance he cultivated it so well and Clayton to put himself within one game shot so deadly in that corner this week an impossible task of finishing it here and look at that for irony 135 well, he, he took a gamble, Michael Smith. It didn't pay off. Game short. And Clayton and cashes match, in Clayton. once again. He's into the semi-finals. Johnny Clayton right. is having a wonderful start to 2021. Will it turn into a title? Which, in truth, he probably deserves this week. He goes through to the semi-finals to take on Gabriel Clements. That will be astounding. But 
to follow the pattern of holes of throw. We're looking at Hetter on one third of a 501. Straight back upstairs. 130. Gets the setup. Does Van Gerwen have this in his locker to break the deadlock? 54. Bull. 136. Well, it was not far away, was it? The width of that ring around the bullseye. The bullseye wired. And he watches Big with time. interest and will not like what he sees. Last produced two nine darters in the same match. Was that really five four years, years ago? Four years, sorry, four years. Still, is that really the, four years ago? The tweet go out from the PDC. As we geared up for a new Players' Championship season and what a season start it has been. Can it get better for Hetta? What a curler around the wall that was. Game and time. what a shot that is at the ball. All the hard work in this leg with a 171 start followed by a 135, but Hetta piles in the 180. And now he wants double 14. 93. We've seen him go three bulls, but this is not the time. This is the time. Oh, no. <laughs> what a chance he cultivated for himself with those two treble 20s. But Hetta gets the revisit for double 14. And should. He purses his lips. He fancies Maybe. this shot. He just knew that was going in. He used it. He also had the option of the 25 as well, which a lot of people might have utilised there. No, well, 133. Still get tricky for Hetta here, but if he does convert this, then it. Well, Michael Van Gogh just took a little bit of time there as well. But the contrast could not be greater. Game shot. And the margin is getting greater now. Damon Hetta, three legs clear of the world number two. and Really good poker play by Damon Hetta in a psychological sense. He's not showing any weakness. And. I'm talking about mentally and on the board. Oh, look at that. That is like kicking around the bend towards the final 50. Well, what a setup. And now it's out of Michael Van Gerwen's hands completely. All he can do is hope. Game shot. But Hetta hits the in Thank the you. end, and Michael Van Gerwen's hopes of taking a title away from Bolton oh, no. this week have disappeared. We'll come back to that in a second. That leaves 61. Bullseye for a first leg 15 daughter. 96. For an early break. Can not be done now. It went the wrong way anyway. Never go 18s 86. first on 118. Yeah, it was a questionable decision, and I think that Clayton will be kicking himself as he saunters back. Nine scored. But he will be back. When Hedda won that title last year, he didn't play his best game in the final, but he had some very good timing. Double eight. For Johnny Clayton. Game shot. And he gets the jump. It's a somewhat unlikely 18 dart break. Floor then at European Tour title the following year. Another player's championship in 2019. The World Cup, of course, last year. And the Masters this year. And Derman um, Hetter has picked up titles. 131. The World Series one that we mentioned a couple of years ago. And then that player's championship title beating Joe Cullen in the final 82. in Niedenhausen. And now he looks to hit the front here. Tops, Game he's shot. starting to sharpen up here. I've noticed a pattern with Damon Hetter sometimes when he's in these key matches, which is to take a 4-2 lead. Perfectly pitched. Doesn't like that. Just a little grimace from Hetta. Resets. A slight shuffle to the left. Not far. 74. But he can't make the adjustment. Now that dart didn't fly like it should have. It just spiked a bit at the end. Went in a bit slowly. 
See Damon in the background. Game shot. Chastising himself. Interesting call. And there's an interesting point reached in this leg. Hetta has a chance on 1 3 2. I just wonder how difficult that dart would have been to navigate had he found 64. the treble 19. Clayton on a slightly easier out. 15 darts thrown and leaving 104. Things are getting very attritional. Don't give up. 64. Starting to show a little bit of negativity. 56. Both on two darters. And Damon Hetter is looking to hold here. It's been the worst leg of the match. Double 16. Game shot. Yeah, that's a huge dart. Just get the feeling that Clayton is waiting for an opportunity to kick on and break, and he's not getting those opportunities. He's not finding them on the YouTube page. Yeah, plenty of highlights available. Much of them provided. 140. By Johnny Clayton, who sensibly laid up in the previous visits. And he Game ties shot. up in the match four apiece. And it looks like once again, we could well be going the distance in this one. And there's nothing between them at all. 180. Well, we've waited a while for maximums in this match, but the pair have just exchanged them. Damon Hetter has fired in now 23 60. over the course of this tournament. Head spinning statistics as Johnny Clayton starts to make his move, sets up a 10. But this would be for possibly the best leg of the week. Wow, what a shot right in the middle. That one is not. And Clayton was scratching his head before that shot at the ball for Demo. Not scratching his head now. Game He's just shot. taking a 10 darter out, and that's what you do to break a throw. Dodge a bullet and pin that shot immediately. But a 1 4 3 here, this would be a match changer. And he's only in this predicament because his last nine darts have come up without a one at the start. 59. Johnny Clayton had his eyes prized on the board there as he watched Hetta score 59. He gets himself a dart. Game shot. He takes his chance. And Clayton is closing in on what would be a fifth title for him in PDC darts. And the 180 gets him to a finish which he has six darts for. Well, he had no real need to go the 18 route. Left himself double 12. 104. Took the marker by surprise as well. Yeah, it was an accidental double, but he won't mind. Double 12 is one that splits down a couple of times. 100. Get this one in the bank. It's only one break required. Double six. It was good to him earlier. He needed the guide on the previous try. Not this Game time. Shot. It's seven six. This is the biggest leg of the day. Five for the TV tournament. Oh, look through the, the history books. Everybody who's done it seems to have a great year. I mean, it was great for Ryan Searle last year. There were players who were doing things like this in February and March, and they made careers of it. Mark Dudbridge, Dennis Ovens, Colin Lloyd. They always used to do it. And with this 200-point lead, you can't see Johnny Clayton letting this go. 140. Letter keeps fighting. But is he fighting a losing battle? 140. Against a man who has been absolutely superb for this entire week. It has been the ferrets four days, hasn't it? He has been the one making the headlines. Apart from yesterday, 96. when Barneveld had his day, but Demo thinks it's up, and I think he's right. Clayton to take the title. Game and shot. Johnny I'm Clayton not. does take a well-deserved title. He gets the better of Hetta and picks up the title 
uh, the third time of asking in a final this week. Three finals out of four. Johnny Clayton is Superman at the Super Series.